go. All right, Shalom. Well, first and foremost, we're going to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, 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 the honor to the elders and the apostles of the Great Millstone site takes on the icon that's pushing this word with true sincerity. And as always, we're the brothers from the Great Millstone Chicago camp. May we out here for another day to hey, preach the word, man. You see? Hey, uh, we're in a week of the Passover. And um, hey, everything is happening, man. You know? Everything is happening. I had some, but go ahead. I'm just bringing a topic really quick. Bring it up. Tell them, okay? Let's check right at the top. This, uh, there's two different headlines from uh, this uh, website called End Times News. And uh, well, the most recent one they said is, uh, well, this is what I want to say. It says multiple schools and different organizations in New York City are marching in protest for transformer rights. You see? So you got a bunch of people over in New York City uh, doing a march for trans for, for tra Decepticons and, and Transformers, man. Facts. And this place is Sodom and Egypt, man, and that spirit is heavy, man. You see? Yeah, Bible be shot, Bible be shot. You know? Not if I got it. You got it? I got it. It's a Jew. <coughs> Chapter 1 and verse 9, it says, Yet Michael, the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, durst not bring sorry, six God. This Jew one and six, and the angels was kept not their first estate, but left their old habitation. He have reserved in everlasting change under darkness until the day, like until the judgment of the great day. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner. So the judgment of the great day is um the fire destruction on earth. Here in America, Babylon the Great, and in different countries around the world, right? That's why these nuclear missiles have been prepped. Yeah. Right? The Lord destroyed the earth one time with what? Water. Now you got to deal with the second death, which is with, with, with fire. Right. And there's a, there's, there's a reason why this fire is going to be existing. The brother bringing out how this LGBT homosexuality, uh, boy on boy, girl on girl spirit has fucking taken over. Yep. Right? They're forcing this doctrine down your children's throat, yep. down your throat at work. Yep. You got to agree with anybody now. <laughs> right? Sure. That's what they push. Yep. Yep. Hey, it was this Edomite, he was just fucking, he's essentially rebuking his, his, his child's school. He had a middle school and a high school, and he's both going through the same thing, that they're finding these certain books in the library about basically how to commit sodomy, yeah. how to do it, how to perform it, how a male to perform it on another male. Pushing a whole um, broke back agenda, man. What comes out of that um, spirit, man? Death, right? One thing they taught you at one time when you read the books, they told you that homosexuality was a disease, right? That was a disease at one time, but now it's, it's not classified as a disease no more, man. You get rewarded. Yep. They talk, they talk about motherfuckers that come out the closet. They don't remove the whole damn building, the closet. There ain't no more closet. Yeah, closet. Yeah. <laughs> ain't no closet. Yeah. Ain't no more closet. Like, this is going back to what brother saying about the uh, fire, man, that second death. Revelation so, uh, 20 and 14, he says, And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Yeah, and you got to realize everything wicked about this society is going to be done away with. Because who is the beacon for wickedness on earth right now? It's Babylon the Great. It's Babylon the Great. The Bible speaks about in Revelations how the nations were angry after what? Uh -huh. Learning the ways of Esau and Edom, hey, goddammit. If I can, Bring the Bible. if I can, I got a perfect example. This, uh, man, I hope I sent this. Yeah, this, uh, this a video from Twitter because the brother just went on how America is that, uh, is, it influences through its, uh, through its, uh, the scriptures call it, it's, uh, it's wine, through its philosophy. It influences these other nations to go off. Now, this uh, video, this looked like uh, Elon, and the title of the video says, We used to go to war. And this is the video. All right, y'all, see it first. <laughs> this is the day is yes. What the fuck? Yes. All oh. And they say, The title is, We used to go to war. And this is what these niggas doing. 
they over in like fucking they they over uh <laughs> so over there. They in a foreign country and their men are emasculated. And you get the point, man, but hey, that just proves you that a hey, Babylon and Great America is that whore, man. That has spread its philosophy in its ways and defiled the whole earth and its people, man. Look at the influence, man. Jude 1 and 7, it says, Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, right. are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Romans 15 and 4 says the things that were written aforetime were written for our, our, our knowledge and understanding, roughly paraphrasing. Sodom and Gomorrah was burnt up as an example as unto what not to do. Lock it. Put this on. Come on. Yeah. But hey, Sodom and Gomorrah was an example of what not to do, man. And hey, as you look here in prophecy, Revelation 11, this place is called spiritual Sodom in Egypt, man. Why? Because look at what's going on. First is the house of bondage, but you got all of this sodomy, man. You can't watch a TV show. Hey, you go, you can't watch Cartoon Network anymore. Nickelodeon, because you got moles on that, man. Hey, you go to you go to a classroom. Oh, I got you. Right? You go to a classroom, and you got a damn, you got a 39 year old uh, you know, Edomite male that identifies as a, a five year old girl in a dress, man. It's a type of weirdo activity that's taking place here, and for that, fire is gonna come down. Just right. upon it, just as it did in Sodom and Gomorrah, that wasteland that's still smoking to this day. You know the mem the memorial of it. You know. Right, right. Hey, that's what's gonna come to this place, man. This is the book of St. Luke, chapter 17, verse 26. As it was in the days of Noah, yep. so shall it be in the days of the Son of Man. Hey, and, and when you go into Genesis, the sixth chapter, it says the earth was corrupt. Every imagination of men was to do evil continually, man. You see, it said that it, it repented the Lord that he made man from off the face of the earth. So what did he do? He flooded the earth, right? But one thing I want to point out, when you go into, I believe it's the word corrupt, up in that Genesis 6, it goes into uh, decay. And what you got going on, they call it uh, moral decay. And that's what's happening here, man. There's no such thing as morals, there's no temperance, there's nothing. And as a result of that, this is the society that you live in. Moles, witches and warlocks, sorcerers, you know, a, a horse. Hey, the and they call it a decadent society, man. Yeah, and that's a failing society, man. And that's what this society is right now. So we know that the Lord is going to come back and judge this place. But you in the place that, hey, 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 the devil tells you, hey, come to me, put your John Hancock on this paper, you can do whatever you want. Ain't no such thing as right and wrong. It's whatever I say that you can do that I give you permission to you can do it. No, so, I'm saying. But we see that in the scriptures that say, don't do these things. But yet still, the, the devil say, hey, you just come to me and sign this for John Hancock on here and you can do whatever scene you want to, man. This is where we live in right now, man. But this is the, this is what's gonna happen to people like this, man. This is our Revelation 21 and I'm sorry, this is eight. He says, but the but the, but the fearful and unbelieving yep. and the ab uh, uh, abominable, abominable yep. and murderers mm -hmm. and homemongers and sorcerers and idolaters and liars. Have their, I mean, shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death, man. So the second death, man, look, it's gonna consume all you people that go against your high about Shemir Shah, go against the law, statute, commandments of the Lord, man, that uh, prescribes to Esau's way of life, man. You're going to die, man. Yep. There's no life in following this society, following the ways of, uh, of, of Edom, your, your enemy, your slave master, man. Lord say, be not envy of what? These people, man. Right. You can't envy these people. You can't, oh man, I want to be like you. I want the fancy car. I want the big house. I want to be LeBron James, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I want to be all this fancy shit, man. Right. Hell no, man. Hey, hey, if you a man of the Lord and so as you have some money, hey, so be, but that's not what we hoping for. That's not what we looking for, man. Right. We looking for destruction. We looking for the paradise, man. We looking for our rulership, man, Hasten. in the kingdom of heaven, man. Hasten in the day, like your brother said, man. That's what we looking for, man. Uh, the scriptures tell us to be pilgrims on the earth, man. Sir, we're not in this motherfucking thinking this is our rest. The scriptures say this is not our rest, man. Hey, and they also said, yeah, the scriptures say this is not our rest, man. So we can't be out here thinking, oh yeah, I'm gonna be the next pop star. I'm looking for two years to come, seven years to come. I'm gonna get a 401k. I'm gonna get this, that, and a third. And that Revelation 21, for, for uh, clarification's sake, it's not talking about a fable called the 
to pick some hell and fucking with Satan poke you in the ass, man, for eternity. No, that's coming to a neighborhood near you, man. That's when these nukes gonna hit Babylon, man. And what? You niggas gonna get caught up in it for all your wickedness that we're referring to that we keep bringing out and you niggas keep doing. It's the book of St. Luke, chapter 17, verse 26 again. As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. Yep. Verse 27, they did eat, they drank, they married wives. Yep. They were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them. During the time of Noah, it was a flood, man, a flood of waters because the people on the earth was wicked, man. Only eight souls were saved, man. How much more now, man, with the 144,000, man, and the one-third? Because two-thirds of our people are going to get destroyed, man. And the rest of the wicked people, which includes these other nations, man, and those that's going to make it out of this damn flood, man, which is a flood of fire that I'm about to go into, all right? It's going to be, you know, it's going to be the, the heathens, man, you know? And, and, and the one-third and, and the 144,000, man, get beat up in them chariots, all right? Verse 28, like also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. Verse 29, but the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. So it's like in the town of Sodom and Gomorrah, man, the same thing is happening right now. You got all types of homosexuals running around, running rapid, man, all due to America. All because the influence of America. America is that, man, the hammer of the earth, man, that go to cup in the Lord's hand, man. All right? So, of course, America's going to influence all these countries to be like America, man, which is known as Sodom and Egypt, man. All, all on, right? This, go ahead. This uh, Malachi 3 and verse 6. For I am Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. And a point I like to make is, hey, in a movie, The Mist, she said, you guys don't know who you're talking about. We're not talking about a modern God. We're talking about the God of the Israelites. And we, the brother just read two accounts in which the Lord judged the earth for a superfluity of wickedness. How much more now? In 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter, the Lord said, the, uh, the, uh, Second Ezra, uh, we got to start this, uh, 2nd Ezra 15-1, it says, Behold, speak down the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Which we do. We coming out here and reading you the words of the holy uh, uh, of the holy scriptures, man. Hey, making it plain upon tables. Hey, warning you from the destruction that's to come, the judgment. Hey, telling our people to return to the Lord. Man, turn back, man. Don't follow the ways of people. This is, uh, this is the Lord's message, man. This ain't our message. Don't look at our faces and, and feel some type of way and try to get out of in our background, man. This ain't this what this is, this is not what this is about, man. It's about the Spirit, it's about the Lord using us as his mouthpiece to warn you people, man. This is just warning from your Yahweh Shemir Abba Shah, man. Because everything that we tell you, we tell you what? Thus say the Lord. We don't say, man, this brother feel like this. Oh, man, no, this brother feel like this. No, you know what? I feel a certain way. No. Oh, this brother feels, no, hell no. It ain't got nothing to do with our feelings. We're not emotional. We're talking oracles of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. That's it. That's why it says, which I will put in thy mouth, that, which saith the I Lord. will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. He's put these words in our mouth, man. Hey, we've been in this world before, man. We did awful things. We, hey, we was in the church. We said something about Jesus, Allah, Buddha, and all these things. But guess what? The Lord didn't want us to be in that, in that, in that, on that, on that path. So He brought us up out of that, and, and He gave us the spirit of the truth. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he showed us our teachers. Yeah. So we started listening and learning from our teachers. Right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we started opening up this book. We cracked it open and we started finding out the hey, It's things that they don't teach you in school. Etymology word, how to look up words, going back to the, the beginning of, uh, of the language. Because this, it's this one language that was in the beginning, all these languages are derived from these, this, this language. So therefore, when you uh, translate, translate you know what I'm saying? From one language to another, you don't get the exact translation. So that's why you have to go look up etymology of words. You got to go back to the original language and things like that yeah. to understand the truth, to get a, a clear understanding of this of these books. In the churches, they don't they don't do these things, man. So they don't have a clear understanding. They don't know, nor do they want to know. This is all about profit. It's about money, deceiving the people.
for their game. Yeah. And the point you have made, he said, hey, the spirit got on us. What's the spirit of our Lord? The testimony of our Lord is the spirit of prophecy. Uh -huh. That's what these other political religions and ideologies don't have, man, because this is of the Lord. The Lord declared the end from the beginning, so we can tell you this because the Lord has put it in our mouth, and we're breaking down the scriptures because everything that plays out has already been written, has already been told, man. But it says, it caused them to be written, caused them to be written in paper, but they are faithful and true. Yep. Fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Hey, we ain't worried about y'all speaking against us, man. Hey, y'all, y'all scoff us. Hey, y'all come out here and try to spit on us, throw a cigarette on us. Hey, you try to shoot us. Hey, you, you niggas try to stab us. Hey, man, but the, guess what? The Lord take care of all of that, man. We ain't worried about nothing, man. Yeah. We got the spirit of Yahweh Shimei Awashia on us, man. Mm -hmm. We come out here to do the work. We ain't fearing nobody, man. We don't, we don't fear the police. We don't fear none of that, man. We fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's who we fear, man. We know if we don't come out here and do this work, guess what? We'll be just like you two-thirds and the rest of these heathens, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, food for the motherfucking fire. Yep. It mentioned that incredulity too. That's disbelief or unbelief. Unbelief. And hey, the Lord is 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 plain that this is the end. Everything that's happening. But hey, Jake Steele and La La Land goofing the fuck off, man. Yep. But why why it's all coming to pass? So so go ahead and be a hey, be filthy stinking unbelievers. That's fine. <laughs> you know? yep, this is for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. The Lord gonna smoke you. Simple as that. <laughs> the says, Lord said World War III. Yeah. What they talking about? World War III. The Lord mentioned arrows being shot off from one uh, country to another. What they talking about? ICBMs. The Lord <laughs> said the Karagma and search in the hand to buy a sale. They talking about CBDCs. See, we know all these things. Y'all dumb niggas talking about some ah, error gonna reach from one country to another. Nigga, it's literally an arrow, man. It's metaphors, man. And y'all don't understand these things, man. But that's why we out here to tell you. But you so hard-headed, you ain't listening because you can't believe that an arrow ain't gonna reach over here and do all this and all that stuff, man. It ain't literally an arrow, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, these things, they, hey, this is the way the Lord wanted to be and this is how it's gonna happen, man. Whether you believe it or not. Yes, it's the book. It's the book of Luke, chapter 17, verse 28. But the day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. That goes back to them ICBM missiles, man. Again, you know, shout out to the ends of the earth, man. Mainly here in America, which is known as Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah. 2.0, man. This place gonna get burnt to fucking smithereens, yeah. man. Just as Sodom and Gomorrah, those neighboring cities, they got hit with that fire from heaven. Hey, the same thing's gonna happen to uh, uh, new Sodom and, and Gomorrah, man. Right. Sodom and Spiritual Egypt. Sodom. That fire is gonna rain down and, and forming that chariot fire and those ICBMs, man. And these nations ain't just showing you their arsenal. They for say, nothing. I think Iran got some material to make some nukes and shit. This shit ain't just happening for nothing. No. This, hey, 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 that's the way of the third chapter. Bleach up their plowshares and the pruning hooks. You know, it's a, it's a uh, spears, roughly paraphrasing. You see? And that's what these other nations doing, man. They taking all their money and they investing into war, into war weapons. Yeah. Hey, they, they had, what, a couple years ago, they had a, a so-called, uh, like a war game practice type shit. So all these countries came together and they were showing off their tanks and their missiles, how they can aim and hit shit and all this other stuff. Man, hey man, look, these people's getting, hey, the, the scriptures is perfect. Hey, if you cannot refute these scriptures, man. We can see it with our own eyes. Everything the Lord said is coming to pass, man. It gotta come to pass, like the Lord said. Because the Lord is not a liar, man. He's a man that he shall not lie. I got that too. It's the book of Romans chapter three. Verse 3, but what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh without effect? Hell no. <laughs> Yahweh forbid. Like the brother saying, hell no. Yeah, let Yahweh be true, but every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sins, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. So, man. Who cares if y'all don't believe or not, man? Hey, we telling the truth, man. We getting the blood off our hands, man. If you believe or not, man, hey, that, that's your soul, man. We told you, man. We told you, but it's up to you, man. Hey, like the old saying goes, man, you can show people to the water, man, but can you make them drink? Hell no. Nah. All right? I done seen plenty of times in the hood, right? A nigga walk up on him, man, this nigga ain't no shit. 
<laughs> yeah, he, he truly believed that nigga wasn't no shit. So that nigga rocked his ass with that bitch, man. Hey. That ain't stopping from hitting that nigga ain't shit, man. <laughs> hey, these people don't believe the scriptures be true. That way I still the slavery. That way I still with those slave shit, man. You still fucked up under the curses. Yo, bitch, still cheating on you, man. The that script is real, real, man. That shit. That be, man, no, hell, everybody like, 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 man, every man, every woman like that, man, you tripping, man. No. She. Hey, man, look, you tripping. Yo, hey, look, that's how we know, hey, look, you gonna say, well, he blinded people, and, and, he, and he put some shit in their ears where they can't hear or see nothing. Y'all huh? can't see, y'all, y'all fuck, literally, because the Lord don't want you. That's, right. that's why you can't see. That's why you can't hear, understand, and perceive what the prophets are saying, man. That, hey, just like when our Lord and Savior was here. You can perceive and understand who he was when he was here. That's right. You, you said the white man had to kill. Hey, man, look, kill that nigga, man. Give us that motherfucker rape that nigga right there. We, you rather had that, right. that, we rather had a sinner than the nigga that's righteous. We, we, don't, we don't want the king. Y'all made a mockery of the man, man. He come here to save your life. He gave you the best thing ever. And it is, we the men out here doing the same thing as our, as our brother did, man. And you doing the same thing to us. You don't care, you barking, you think you know something, you prideful. You know what I'm saying? What it say? Pride comes before the fall, man. You niggas finna fall fucking hard. Man, I'm talking about fall you ain't never felt before. Because it's time that's coming that you ain't never seen before, man. Yep. You can add all them World War I, World War II, all the massacres and the shit that this man did to you. That ain't nothing compared to what the Lord about to bring to you right now today, man. There's so much happening, too, man. Come on, so man. Much Every much. day. Hey, hey, you keep on getting zombie headlines, man. <laughs> the Lord is, hey, the Lord is cold, man. Hey, wisdom of something, what, 16 and 17? Yeah. You know? The 2nd is 15 to 5 now. It says, Behold, say the Lord. Apparition. I will be apparition. God. Oh, man. The Lord is terrible, man. Oh, my God. Lord for the judge this place, man. Woo. And rightfully so, because you people are proud. Here it is, the record of men with men working that which is unseemly and women with women changing the, the glory of the Most High to a lot. The judgment put as in the scriptures, and everybody didn't heard about it and still talk about it to this day. Hey. And in the pride of uh, Esau Edom, he still pushes that, man. So hey, 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 you took the, I was looking at a, uh, it, it was a video of when uh, divers had seen the Titanic. They first seen it after it sunk. And, you know, if I recall correctly, that whole little thing, they was boasting. They was like, even God can't sink this, this ship. ship. Oh, yeah, and what yeah, happened? Yeah, yeah, the Lord sunk that the thing. ship, man. Same thing, man. <laughs> you people are proud, right puffed it up, exalted. Yeah. Hey, hey, wickedness have exceedingly polluted the, the whole, whole earth. earth. The earth is out of order. Hey, the earth is out of course. This nigga Esau is gonna destroy it. Then everybody, hey, the Lord is gonna judge this place, man. Hey, 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 we say, hey, this man, he just seek to destroy it, even himself, man. If the days were not short, he just, hey, he destroyed this destroy whole everything. place, everybody, him himself, everything on this motherfucker, man. He would totally just erase it. He don't care. That's the man that you dealing with. This is the man that you under. This is the man that you follow and love. He's ready to destroy everything. What the fuck, good? <laughs> they say, hey, he that do evil to himself, to whom should he do good to? Good to. And he, he sprayed the, the air that he got to breathe, the, he pollute the water, the water he got to drink, man. He, he fuck up the GMO, the food, food. he got to eat, man. Now, hey, he, this nigga's a devil. Yeah, tell me, if that ain't the devil, who is? If, exactly. if he ain't the exactly. devil, man, who, is who is he? Exactly. Who is he? Because ain't no other race that I know came around and did none of this shit. They but even, one race. They ain't even like getting close to his iniquity. Like them niggas right. go off. Man. But like this nigga Esau is the perfect devil. Man, right. you feel me? Hey, because his blessing was the what? The sword. He can get the fatness of the earth. He can get whatever he wants. Long see country wicked, man. And that's that devil MO, man. Oh, I, got, I got one to back up. It's Revelation 6 and 4. And there went out another horse that was red. And power was given to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth. And that's Esau, he's a self-proclaimed white man. Hey, when you go into this peace, it ain't tranquility, man. Peace from war, etc., etc. All Esau, Edom knows is wickedness, war, man. Hey, this is going to say. It says, and, and that they should kill one another. And there was given to him a great sword. And what, hey, what the Romans do, man? Hey, when they to get in power, they was hey, swaying each other left and right, man. Left and right, left and right, left and right. Man. Hey, Esau Edom, that's its M.O. Backstabbing, man. Yep. Hey, clam yeah. up that way, man. Do it the most grandiest way possible, yeah, man. Yeah, laugh hey, in your face. Keep hey, diseases, hey, man. What they say? He's smoother than butter, baby. But you know what I'm saying? Boy, hey, his words are so smooth, man. He'll trick you, mother. He'll trick anybody, man. Trick look, 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 look. He'll trick. He'll deceive the whole world, yeah. man. 
Oh, everybody looking at that nigga like he God. Yeah. Bro, Jesus, hey. oh, he look like Jesus. That's the people God, man. Look, they right. got look. They give us a job. They right. give us houses. Right. They give us food. They give us clothing. They do everything. Man, this, you tell me he ain't God, man. Hell no, that's the devil, man. You, man, he gave you a house. You had your neighbor fucking in the next door. Man. No, come on, man. You had, you smelled a nigga dog hell. shit in his backyard, <laughs> man. You had a nigga arguing with his bitch, man. Come on, man. <laughs> the motherfuckers stay upstairs from you, downstairs from you, from the left, and to the right of you. You right. hear all this shit all day, every day. Niggas demons everywhere. Like, God, come on, man. man. This is <laughs> this is pure D madness, man. Hey, an example of that uh, Revelation 6 and 4 is Avatar II, the, the way of the water. Here it is, you had the general, that nigga, uh, hey, he was an Edomite, and he came with that spirit of Edom, man. Hey, the Lord said the thief coming out, but the steam killer destroyed. This nigga literally, he came to other tribes of Avatars, which was, which was the Northern Kingdom, and the nigga immediately began to kill, steal that shit, and destroy, man. And that's the only thing that he's good for, man. Now, look, look up his history. We, hey, you don't have to listen to me. You got to listen to him. him or his. All you got to do is pick up a book, get on the internet, look up the so-called white man's history. Yeah, read it a week, nigga. Plain and simple. Yes, you, hey, you, look, you can't defute that. Now, you, if you defute that, we already know you niggas wicked. But, yeah, man. hey, <laughs> you niggas wicked as hell. You, you ain't going to believe that shit. What? Hey, what did that tell you? A man wrote that shit. How you going to believe that? Just like the man wrote the Bible. How you gonna believe that? But here it is, you pick and choose what you want to believe. And a man wrote the whole damn book. Which part God came down here with his own handwriting and said, here, I wrote this. But they said that these are God's words, right? This is his son's words, right? Because you, you only want to believe that part when, when it, it fits you. When it don't fit you, you don't, ah, nah, that's some, a man wrote that. A man wrote every word that came out your fucking mouth. Now what? I think you should shut the fuck up and be silent. I think you should not say anything else. Right. Good. A man, a man set up that GPS for you to go and commit a Come on, but man. you went and followed every motherfucking direction. <laughs> you got Come it. Right. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 58, and allow me to start at one. Do you indeed speak righteousness, O congregation? Do you do ye judge uprightly, O ye sons of man? Well, we try to do that to the best of our ability, man. All right? We try to we come out here, man, speak this word, man, get the blood of our hand. Preach this word day in and day out, man, to the best of our ability. Read, study, man. Do all we can to get right with the Lord, right? Verse 2, this is what Esau Edom does, man. Yeah, in heart, he work wickedness. He weigh the balance of your hand in the earth. Like the brother's going into, this dude, all this dude does, man, is steal, kill, and destroy, man. All right? Look what you did to, to Southern Kingdom, man, and Northern Kingdom over here in the Americas, man. All right? Look at this devil's backtrack, man. All he does is steal, kill, and destroy, man. And he do it to a point where you can't even understand, you know what I'm saying, what, what this man has done. He has literally twisted everything that you can think of, man. I'm talking about all your TV shows, your music. He has a hand in, 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 in making it a way where he's brainwashing you to believe that what he's putting out here, this is the way of life. And you niggas got hold on to it dearly. Yeah. You niggas, when you come outside, what you see? When you, you go in the house, you sit and you watch TV, you go outside, what do you see? You see the same shit that you seen on TV outside. When you talk to people now, <laughs> they, they sound just like TV. They don't sound like they sound. You, it's like, it's rarely when you can walk to a, a Jake and, and have a conversation with a Jake and he don't sound or look like what's on TV. These niggas living in the facade. Yeah. Some shit that ain't real, man. This shit make believe. Go ahead, Doc. This Psalm 64 and 6, they search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. And as the brother's going into a Esau studies Jason and studies how to cast him down from his excellency through his uh, TVs, through his uh, programming and so forth. All these different mediums, you know? He said the uh, heart is deep. This goes back, this goes to Esau line. This is the book of Psalm chapter 58, verse 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Like Esau, he programs our people to go off, man. You know, lying to our people that everything was okay, man. Lying to our people, man, that he, he's God, all right? You know that he's some damn body, man. You ain't no damn body, you a fucking liar, man. Straight up. Hey, that's why the scriptures tell you, uh, never trust thine enemy. I gotta, I'm gonna show this this imagery real quick, but you had a damn 
they had a damn, uh, they was doing like a little protest or somewhere, somewhere down south. I think you had, uh, what's dude name? I don't, I don't think it's Jesse Jackson. Uh, the other black ass, that fake leader and shit. Uh, no, no, no. That one was Martin King. What's it, Jesse Jackson? Jesse Jackson. Yeah, that's all I The little skinny one with the with the perm and shit. I was shocked. Yeah. yeah. It say, hey, this is a tweet. It say the older generation is gone. Look at this shit. Cause, cause I want you to hit that last part. It said the older generation is too far gone. There is no saving them. It says this is the scene in Selma. I believe that's in Mississippi. Can you verify from me? That's Selma. Hey, you got fucking. You got this. You got the serpent. <laughs> you got Esau Edom, the devil himself, walking with a bunch of you dumbass jakes, man. Y'all sitting here marching. And the scriptures say, never trust thy enemy. You hit that Psalms again, not Babaku shot. Walking through. This the book of Psalms, chapter 58, verse 3. The wicked are estranged from the wounds. They go as straight as soon as they be born speaking lies. Exactly, man. And look at this nigga face. You know this nigga up to no good, man. On, man. You know? Likewise. You look at this, man. Hey, that shit was fucking hold, hold the fuck out, man. Sold the fuck out, man. Hey, it say, uh, if he speak a lie, he speak of his own. Because yep. he's a liar and a father of it. Esau don't give a fuck about Jake, man. Like you say, look at the fucking track record, man. When has Esau done anything uh, uh, profitable for these so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans? This even, nigga been trying to destroy y'all. Even when they gave you the so-called fake ass black president, uh, Bro. Obama and shit. Damn. That nigga, he gave rights to the gang, and gave you a goddamn government phone. What right. the fuck? They didn't do shit for you, man. They spied on you more and put push uh 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 uh, uh so-called uh, feminism on you and shit. Gay and shit. That, that, that shit. They push that's what they did for you with that, that black president. And the MOTV pushed that. Oh shit. yeah, yeah. This is oh, rock he, he put in the um uh, like, big ass. Yeah, uh, he, no, he put in the uh, you know when the, uh, when they signed legislation. Shit. Yeah, yeah, legislation. Like nigga, page. you go and look at Obama's yeah. legislation, nigga. He put it in the, uh, in the in the in the in the legislation that you gonna have to get this chip. And it's a uh, health that. Yeah, right. Yeah. And the Obamacare yeah. shit. Yep. This Sirach 14 and 5, he that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? And that's Esau. Who the fuck he gonna be good to? He evil to himself. Here it is, he so-called supposed to be trying to hurt you, but he hurting his damn self. Like we say, he poisoned the air. He poisoned the water. He poisoned the goddamn food. How the fuck he gonna survive if he poisoning everything, man? His own people is complaining. Come. And they Esau. <laughs> what the scripture say? They complain of an ungodly father. Like, his own people. Hate him, man. Yep. It says, and this is a recompense of his wickedness. And if he do of good, he do of it unwillingly. So yeah. Unwillingly. Oh, hey, he's forced to do that shit, man. Hey, he, hey look, because he don't want to look like a, a total uh I die. So he forced to do good when something fucked up happened that he fucking calls, man. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Ultimately, I'll check it down there to do evil again. Yeah. 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 Go right back to evil, right again. You know so what Rock saying? 14 and 7. And if he do of good, he do of it unwillingly, and at the last he will declare his wickedness. And I was just looking at uh I did it, I was listening to this uh last this uh video, this uh this it was this goop, but she was really an Israelite foreigner, but she was going in on how after World War II around like 1946, after that period, they uh opened up an immigration act. And with this immigration act, you had different na national nations come over here, but instead of helping you jakes, they 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 signed this act and they oh, yeah. used the simple all that shit that happened. Sucking up the land, they were signing their names on these well, fucking that, uh, what, uh, uh, these uh, documents and shit, too. so they can get land and get money and shit. Basically, so they want the, the real people that supposed to be signing those papers. They was they're bringing their children and kids to get them and put them in line, so they was paying them a little money and they was putting their, their names on these on these uh, papers. So now to this day, they still get paid their families and stuff like that, acting like they so called these people that was here. You know exactly. what I'm saying? But yeah, they, hey, Esau, he he uses Jake as a uh, uh, he uses Jake struggle as a uh, way to push his wickedness. Like look at BLM. Supposedly the nigga uh, George Floyd, that nigga had a foot on his neck and became an idol overnight. You know, then they got rich and shit. But then what did it turn to? Black trans lives matter. Mm -hmm. Father. Pushing but, wickedness, the alphabet community. But it's which always is a champion, man. Yeah, it's always been like that, man. Don't let Esau fool you, man. You gonna see something come on here? Oh, Black Lives Matter, or Nigga Lives Matter, or, right. or whatever lives, Jake Lives Matter. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's Jake bullshit. <laughs> don't nah, never, don't that. never follow these people, man. These people ain't got nothing good for you, man. Every, it's a trap. Anytime when you see, 
he saw it in, back, in, in the forefront of this shit, but he put a nigga like he in the forefront. It ain't exactly. good for you, man. Exactly. It ain't good. This is, this is his MO all the time, man. Exactly. Here, put something out here. He's the leader of it, but he'll put Jake, a nigga woman, most, 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 most preference, a nigga woman in the head of it because she believe in this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because he paying me and he pay my bills and I can go shopping and I can get my wig done and my nails and my feet because this, this man paid me. So she gonna do his bid. And I can file this man kids on my taxes and uh, I ain't did shit for the kids about they whole life. And, look, and this nigga protect me from my baby and daddy. And I can call the police on any nigga. <laughs> and he got my back. Fuck and you I can get sex today. I you ain't nothing like him. That's why I serve him. Yeah. I go to work faithfully every day. Get that snow, man. Uh, get that fucking snow. I got one. You got it's the book of Psalms, chapter 50, verse 19. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. Yep. And that's what Esau Edom does to our people, man. All right? He like to put Jake on the front front, front front, like for example, with this whole chaos and stuff that went on, man, with the, you know, with Crown this Royale. whole the Crown Royale stuff, man. Who he put as the face of that, man? Jake. 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 China All disease, right? Wuhan disease. Yeah. <laughs> Tell the motherfucking blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. In exactly. that order. Uh, Literally. Uh, uh, verbatim, verbatim. Yeah. One news. Just yeah. uh, to put That's Jake the at the forefront of wicked. It's like, That's what they want to get a shot and shit too far. Oh, we gonna go to the nigga community. Hey, wait, hold on, time out. You niggas ain't never came to our place first when some some shit broke out, right, when the crisis broke out. We right. was the last motherfuckers to get it. Now all of a sudden you talking about we gonna be first? No, hell no. Hey, I'm skeptical of that shit. Yeah, that's Rock 14. 14. Yeah. Every time y'all come, that shit first drop bombs, put yeah, guns on, in that man. motherfucker. It ain't good. But now it's the end of the world. He want to save you. Yeah, yeah, he want to help I, I want to look out for you. I, you know, I want no, you to I be feel alive. Bad. I feel bad. Even though I got the Georgia guys going down, you know. Book of Psalm chapter 50, verse 20. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thine own mother's son. Hey, 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 Rebecca, Esau and Jacob's mother, yes. And what Esau Edom does, man, he slanders he Jake, man, by putting you on the front foot for wickedness, man. All right, black lives matter too. You know, trans lives matter like the brother's going into, man. You know, the, the face of the Wuhan disease, man. And stuff like that, many other wickedness, man. All right, this devil don't love you, Jakes, man. He been trying to kill you since the beginning, man. All right, the scriptures don't tell you. Raise it, raise it to the foundation thereof for no reason. Cause really, this devil trying to kill us in hardcore slavery and still trying to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. I got one. This is Jeremiah 13 and 23. It says, can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leper his spots? Then may he also do good that are accustomed to do evil. You don't see a leopard, oh man, this spot, I don't want this one for gray. I'm putting it on the back of my head. Do this, that, and third. No. So, hey, you don't see Esau Edom, who is the wicked, pursuing the Malachi, the first chapter. You don't see him changing his wickedness, man. It says a custom, which yep. means trained in the Hebrew word of mind. Trained in, packed this in. So, you don't see a boxer shooting motherfucking takedowns and wrestling motherfuckers. You see him boxing, man. You don't see a kickboxer uh, fucking doing jujitsu, man. You see him kickboxing. <laughs> You don't see a wicked motherfucker doing righteousness. Oh, yeah. Esau is the wicked, man. He's going to do wickedness. That's all he knows. That's what he loves to do, man. That's what the Lord programmed him to do. But you niggas are so fucked up y'all here and love wickedness so much that you done fell in love with the devil, man. Fell in love with your enemy. That's why it says in Lamentation, the fourth chapter, that our people look for a nation that cannot save, save them. them, man. They're looking for the nation that wants to destroy them. They give them the easy. That's like going to the off block. <laughs> they went to the off block. Uh, 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 uh. Trying to buy a pipe, man. You shot your ass. This is Isaiah 48 and 8. It says, Yea, thou heardest not. Yea, thou knowest not. Yea, from the from that time and so like from that time that thy ear was not open, for I knew that thou was with not so like with his deal very treacherously, and was called a transgressor from the womb, man. Hey, man, this thing was wicked from the fucking womb. That's talking about Israel. Israel. That's oh, talking about Israel. Read right. up on it. Because right. right. the Lord, yeah. hey, he manifested. Hey, he hey. hey, read up on it. That's actually. Let uh, me see. Okay. I got you. Okay. Song, right? Isaiah 48. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, start at, uh, you can start at one. 
Start at three. Yeah, start at three. This is Isaiah 48 and three. He says, I have declared the former things from the beginning, and they went, and they went forth out of, out of my mouth, and I showed them. The Heavenly and, Father declared the end from the beginning. He told you what's gonna happen at the end of the world. Hey, they proved you just how uh, how uh, omnipotent the Lord is, all powerful, all knowing. Uh, you know? You can read. He says, and I did them suddenly, and they came. Hey, we seen it happen. The Lord hey, prophesied, he said, uh, one world pass, the second world coming, the third world coming quickly. The last two years, it's been uh it's been more emphasis on World War Three. Why? Because that's the prophecy of the Lord taking place. He says, because I knew that thou art abstained, uh, abstinent, and they and thy neck is an iron uh, what is that? Snoo? Sinew. Sinew is like Jake is hard headed. The Lord, like, look, I know you hard hit. I know you niggas don't listen, so check it out. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen at the end of the world. I'm going to declare it right now and put it in a book and send you prophets to break it down to you in a latter day. See? And the Lord said, I lift up my hand. I live forever, man. You know? And the Lord cold, man. Lord. It ain't no gray areas in the scriptures. Hell no. It ain't no gray areas. It ain't no fuck up. Hey, the Lord is perfect, man. See, you, you people are not perfect. You people, your pride is fucking... Through the roof, but say through the roof, Batman. You niggas so prideful that you will turn around and say that the Lord don't know what he's talking about. That ain't right. That ain't right. Well, why would the Lord let that happen? Why would the Lord do this and do that? Hey, you gotta remember, nigga, you niggas ain't shit. You niggas fucked up. That's why the Lord doing what he doing right now to you, you Israelites, man. You in punishment. You in hell right now, man. You know what I'm saying? You, you, hey, you got to get what's coming to you, man, for not being obedient and listening to your power, man. Yeah. He told you to do something. You you rebel. You turn you turn your you turn your face. You turn your back against the Lord, man. Yeah. So guess what the Lord did? He turned his back against you. He said, all right, wait, you know what? You're gonna be in the land of your captivity and you ain't gonna be my kids and I'm not gonna be your father, man. So that's why you here right now. He ain't dealing with you niggas like that, man. And what first pass in there? Uh first pass? Uh, I have even from the beginning declared to it, declared it to thee. He says, before it came, so like before it came to pass, I showed it thee. Least thou should have said, my idol have done them, and my my graven image and my molten image have commanded me, man. Hey, he's the, all all y'all. Wicked ass idols and wicked ass churches y'all go to and praise and all this shit. Hey, y'all think that, hey, it's gonna do something for you. But guess what? For 400 years, what has it done for you? Shit. Matter, as a matter of fact, uh, what, what, what was it? Was Pakistan, Iranian, and over there, when they had all their idols and they threw them out the street and they had these big ass uh, front end loaders to come push them out the way, they said, man, look, we've been dealing with these idols and praying to these idols and doing all these things to these idols and they've never done anything for us, man. And that's the same thing with you niggas. You should feel the same same way in America. Man, you've been in all these churches. You've been serving Jesus, Allah, Buddha, all these fucking different uh, uh, gods. And guess what? They never done anything for you. Right. You're still in the same state. You're still in the fucked up state and place that you've been in since you've been in slavery, man. So now what? Yes. Yeah, this Hosea 5 and 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face and their affliction they will seek me early man you see and they all hail for the break loose man and all you people that that, that refuse to turn to have me father you stay in that spirit your ass through man Good, right man. you can't say oh well jc said nah this, this, <laughs> yeah, the christian no. didn't say that man. <laughs> hey, <laughs> none of these ideologies these false religions ain't said none of this man hey the lord declared this man you people can't refuse it so what do you people do go on and do it Hey, hey, that came out on the disciples' line. The elder Jeremiah, he went into it. It was wicked. But he was like, these other philosophies, they uh, they validate the Bible, but when you go into the Bible, the Bible condemn them. You can go, niggas worship Satan, where you learn about Satan from? The Bible. The Bible tells you everything you need to know about Satan. The Lord is in control of Satan. You know, and they went into the uh, the women worship. Hey, that, that's the look of the scriptures, man. That queen of heaven worship, man. And the, the Bible condemns it. Yeah. You see? 
Hey, hey, the word seek ye out the book of the Lord and read, none shall want her mate, for my mouth to have commanded, my spirit have gathered them. Hey, this is divine inspiration, the words of the Heavenly Father. That's right. That's, right. And that's why you niggas don't know shit. Because guess what? If you want to hide anything from a nigga, put, it in, put it in a book. You niggas don't read shit. All you do is sit in front of the goddamn TV and the radio and shit. You listen to all this folly and bullshit that's going on out in the world, and this is what you believe. This is what you said in your head to be upright. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey what, what a lot of Christians say? Well, but the Lord told us to follow the laws of the land, follow the laws of the people. No, the Lord say follow His commands. His laws and statutes and commandments, man. That's what he told you. He said, no matter where I scattered you, no matter wherever I driven you, you always supposed to keep these laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh God, Shem Yahweh Shah. He said, keep the laws of Pharaoh. He said, keep the laws of the heathen. He said, keep the laws of America. He said, keep my laws, man. That's it. That's all, man. He ain't dealing with no other right. Hey, he's a jealous God. So whatever God that you think that you're going to deal with, you're going to follow that law. The Lord ain't dealing with it. You're going to be destroyed for it. Exactly. You got something else? Which one of y'all You got something right quick. Did you finish that? Yeah, I finished that. Um, this Hosea 1 and 1. It reads, O Israel, return unto the Lord thy power, for thou hast fallen by thine iniquity. And um, if you give me Jeremiah 30 and 15, because the thing is, um, Jake fell as a nation, right? That's why your ass in all these different countries Man. serving false gods and false idols. What else? Jake, Jake broke his hell. Jake ain't got a pot to piss in. Jake ain't got no money. Jake ain't got his God. And Jake ain't got a, a right sense of mind. Right? You've been following after the enemy, and the enemy got you going off. And what did the Lord say in that Jeremiah 30 and 15 when you get a chance? Right? You're supposed to be remembering yourselves and remember and think about why the hell am I a slave in America? Why the hell is my people at the bottom? Why, why are we got to serve another nation? But you're not inquiring, man. You're not considering. The Bible said my people do not consider. 35 and 15? Um, 30 and 15. Yep. It's the book of Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 15. Why Christ thou for thine affliction? Thy sorrow is incurable for the... 30, start 30 and 14. All right. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 14. All thy lovers have forgotten thee. Matter of fact, 13. <laughs> this is the book of Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 13. There is none to plead thy cause that thou mayest be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicine. Yeah, there's no healing medicine but this word. And um, you refuse to listen to this word, but you'll, you'll listen to some stupid ass rap ass nigga, right? You'll listen to some stupid ass comedian some homosexual preacher, you'll listen to your dumb ass woman, right? Yep. Keep reading, brother. Verse 14, all thy lovers have forgotten thee. Very soon, all your lovers, they're gonna forget about you. Matter of fact, they already did it. They only are using you for money. Sex, Sex money, um, entertainment. To entertainment, right? You jets are fucking lost people. It's um, the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Israel. Go ahead. They seek thee not. For I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy. Yeah, the Lord got us fucked up in the game here in Babylon the Great, right? You be all you see is homeless Jakes, broke Jakes, um, Jakes in prison, right? Jake in a low state. Look at the black, the black small kids. I mean, look at the um, Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the little kids. They all fucked up. They be in the stores like little drug addicts. A lot of them are on medication. A lot of them are psycho psychotic now. I used to work at a mental home. I ain't never seen so many fucking young no kids, kids, man. Fucked up like this. Fucking young kids on drugs, bro. And they keep them medicated, man. That's, that's the only solution this so-called white man have for you here in America. Man. Drugs, drugs, and more fucking drugs, man. See? Go ahead, brother. With the chastisement of a cruel one. For the multitude of that iniquity. For what? The multitude of thine iniquity. In other words, you done fucked up. You done broke a lot of a lot, a lot of laws, a lot of statues, right? You said, man, I'm going to do what I want to do, man. Fuck, fuck the Get what the Lord talking about, bro. Hey, why, why we not listen to him? Uh, we were talking about earlier. That ain't Lord's word. That man wrote that book, man. Right? Man wrote that, man. That, hey, you niggas is ignorant. You niggas is stupid. You know what I'm saying? How, how is you perceive that the, hey, a man wrote something that's profitable, that, 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 that we prophesied about, that you see that's coming to pass. Hey, slavery, that's in the Bible. 
for a man wrote slavery and he put it in the Bible. So is that true or false? So, and Jake's so ashamed of that slavery. And you're supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you fell be. as a nation. Um, your woman was taken from you. Your children was taken from you. Your father your, was taken from you. Your land, everything. You should be ashamed. You should be upset. Matter of fact, start back at um 12. <laughs> This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 12. For thus saith the Lord Yahweh, thy bruise is incurable. There's no thing. Don't, we try to, we trying to give you the cure, but you don't want the cure. You'd rather be a fucking simple ass American here in Babylon the Great. The niggas trying right? to poison us. You exactly. <laughs> you want us to stay a perfect slave, a perfect prisoner, right? You want us to stay docile, lost, listen to fucking hip hop music. Man, we're straight. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. And thy wound is grievous. Verse 13, there is none to plead thy cause, that thou mayest be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicines. Uh -huh. Verse 14, all thy lovers have forgotten thee. They seek thee not. Yeah, don't nobody give a fuck about you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You don't give a fuck about yourselves. So why the fuck should the enemy care? First off, the enemy got rich off of your back. Um, give me that, um, Psalms 30, what is that, 83? Yeah, the enemy got rich off your back, right? You go in any black, um, Hispanic neighborhood, who got all the businesses? The Jews, some neighborhoods, black, um, Africans, Arabs, East yep. Indians. Chinese. Chinese. Right? The only business you Negroes and Hispanic got is what? Crack dealing, Basketball. drug dealing. Basketball. Right? Basketball, football, football, baseball, baseball, you <laughs> fucking entertainer. Criminals. Criminals. Hey, a nigga love being an entertainer. Man, I just want to be seen, bro. I just want to be seen. I just want to be known. Guess what? The Lord, the Lord seeing everything you're doing. The Lord seeing everything you're doing, man. He got the angels watching. Don't worry about it. You see it every day. Every day. Go ahead, go ahead, brother. Verse 14. All thy lovers have forgotten thee. They seek thee not, for I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy. Yeah, you love them false gods, but guess what? Jesus Christos is not coming to save nobody, man. Facts. I don't give a fuck how many times you pray to Mother Mary. Jesus Christos not doing nothing, <laughs> right? Um, Buddha, he ain't gonna do nothing. Nope. That motherfucker Allah, he ain't do nothing. <laughs> doing nothing. Yeah, he ain't doing nothing. All these gods of these other nations are idols, right? They serve no purpose. Uh -huh. Don't forget about Jesus. He ain't this doing shit either. Say, this hey. nigga Buddha fat as hell, man. Oh, oh, boy, look, fat, like, you got a fat ass hey, guy. It's a whole bunch of sucking his own titties. Shit. I'm like, this shit is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Buddha. You can't even see his rod. That's already yeah. one inch, man. Come on, man. Nasty. With a ball yeah, ball bunch ball. of retarded looking gods. You got a white god, a fake white god, um, with blonde fake hair, with this long hair, stringy hair. And all y'all about love and um, hi, hi. Hey, 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 they like, never like, healed like, nothing. Like the Catholic Church and shit, with the motherfucking babies and shit in the cloud touching each other and naked and all this yeah. bullshit, man. Show us in the Bible body, man. where an angel is touching a baby on, finger to finger, right? Go ahead, brother. With the chastisement of a cruel one. And you motherfuckers deserve an ass whooping. That's why it's only gonna get worse. It's only going to get worse for you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Why? Because the mark of the beast about to be implemented, right? Martial law about to be kicked off, right? This white man going to shut shit down. He's going to open up them fucking FEMA camps. And a nigga, man, I got the rights. You got the right to shut the fuck up or die. Yeah, yeah. You got a right, all right? A right to be ignorant and stupid all the way up to that time till you come fuck you up. Yeah. That's that's your right. Your right to be ignorant. Stupid, not listen to the man's of the Lord, and when that time comes, hey, just shut the fuck up. Hey, take your punishment like a man or a woman. <laughs> and scripture tells you that, you know, deliver us from thy enemy, which is thy sword, which goes back to that cruel one that I'm speaking of, you know, Esau Edom. He's about to come down with hard strap, man. What you gonna do when he do, man? Is that, job, that's time for you to get right, man. If not, hey, man, this is this is not our words, man. These are your help by Hashem, your help with words. You got it, bro. This Isaiah 65 and verse 12. Therefore will I number you to the sword, mm. and you shall all bow down to the slaughter, because when I called, ye did That's not cold. answer. See, there's a problem. You don't understand the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right? right? You've been dealing with the God of Esau, the God of um, Moab, the God of Ishmael, right? 
Barry Manilow. Yeah, oh. <laughs> the God of the Eden, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> Esau, God said, you can sleep with another man. Oh, my God. What kind of God is this? Shit. Right? What else? These gods be, <laughs> you can murder motherfuckers. Look at um, Esau's whole system is set up robbery, set up off of robbery, murder, injustice, idols, right? Boredom. Boredom. So what, what, what good ever came out of this man? Nothing. Or his idol? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> but guess what? You gonna hold up? Hey, look. You Jakes love Jesus more than Esau love Jesus, man. Exactly. This nigga don't give a goddamn about he Jesus. He don't give a fuck about no but Jesus. But you blacks, Latinos, <laughs> Native Americans, <laughs> hey, you nigga. Jesus! Jesus, 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 Praise hey, they got a, they got a, praise uh, 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 yes, praise, praise twerking. Twerking. I, Hey, they had a damn, they had a damn club in a church, man. Huh? They literally had a club in the church. Oh, fuck like God. literally, man, it just shows you, hey, the spirit of the Lord ain't done it with it. No, man. no, it's they not. called a whorehouse for no reason. Yeah, that's a hard one. That's a hard one. Hey, if you look at this world, is on a whole nother level of evilness where hey. you can't even go to a so-called place of worship to worship, right? Right, nah. Hey. You go to a place of worship to, what, look at other women. That's the only thing. you in the pussy in there, man. Come on, man. That's what you're in there, man. That's what you're in there, man. That's what you're in there, man. Because she coming in that motherfucking half-ass nigga, her motherfucking titty sitting now. She got a motherfucking miniskirt all the way up to her thing and shit. So what What the fuck is you looking at when you go to church? You looking at these motherfucking half-naked ass women. That ain't your wife. Come on, man. So Hey, look, this bitch got a man at home. Her husband at the crib. The pastor and the bishop. So I he, hey, he's stalking her. Hey, 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 man, hey, hey, bro, hey, brother. Man, at the at the text. Hey, get a number for me. Get a number for me, fam. Scripture told the scripture tell you that they named after each other's wives. Yep. The book of Jeremiah. They the each other with their daughters. Yep. Yeah. Hey. It's Isaiah 65 man. and 12. Therefore, will I number you to the sword, and you shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear. But did evil before my eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. And then they say, what you mean? When the Lord came and speak to us and talk to us, Lord ain't come. I ain't heard the Lord not one time. Hey, look, you missed it. It went clean over know. your head. You feel me? Hey, because hey, the Lord speak. Hey, the, the Lord speaking right now. I got what are we speaking? Oracles of Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shah. We're not speaking to our own thoughts, our own feelings. Because that will get you killed. Come on, man. Speaking from your heart. Hold on. First off, the Lord already got a format. The Lord already got a, a whole plan book written out. And here you come doing like <laughs> the pastor do. Um, <laughs> um, the push it aside. And then you go to he, your book. <laughs> right, right. He, he said, the. Oh, yeah. He, he going to say, he. You thought that nigga See, was that's the in the it. beginning. <laughs> okay. All right. That's, that's it. it. That's it. <laughs> oh yeah, he's stiff on this. He's the one. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's like, he's like, the gospel the of the world. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. End of sermon. He hold on, pass that book. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, pass that. Pass the trophy. Pass that. Yeah, whatever. Right. Right. Yeah. Pass that. Like, they trying to get them passed. Oh, they don't give a damn about the church, man. They don't care about preaching the word. Mm -mm. They care about getting that money. That's yeah. it. That's why they teach y'all bullshit. Hey, they 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 teach you things that will touch your heart and make you feel some type of way where I, I'm forced. I, I have to give this money to the Lord. I don't want to die. I got to give my tithes. Man, look, that's bullshit, man. You, hey, when the Lord going to come get, why, why would the Lord need something that he gave you to live and survive and take care of your family? Why, why would the Lord need that? And he's, in the the whole, church. he's in a whole other realm that don't have none of this shit. That they sucking them jobs. Like they they sucking them down. You of course you give to the hey, you preach right, you write peace. But you give, you know, that 10%. They sucking them dry. They fucking taking your rent money. You ain't and when you fucked up, they ain't they, they not helping you. Hey, look, what they tell you when you hey, ain't you you, hey, look, brother. Gotta pray a little nah, bit more, and, nah. and the Lord gonna bless you. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that's what and they used to do. Your tithes. I mean, that's, that's what they used to do. They gonna they gonna curse your ass out. Oh, 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 they gonna hey, call look, you bro. Hey, 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 they point they you out. Yeah. Hey, exactly. sister, um, sister uh, Davis, you ain't paid your tithes in about two yeah. weeks. Sister, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Uh, hey, the Lord. Well, ain't pastor, gonna... the bitch been in the hospital for a month. Hey, come on, man. She just got out. Yeah. I got you don't know. Don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck. Um, this is the book of Luke 1 and 69. 
and he hath raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. And the Lord is speaking through his prophets, not through the preachers at your church, right? Like we just said, the preachers of your church, boy, he just bought a new Bentley. He just bought a house. His kids just got put through college Ooh, off of your dumb box. You. And then you try to ask the brother, what did you learn on Sunday? I don't I remember. I learned how to bust a nut. I don't remember. Yeah. I, mean. I don't remember. And, 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 and the church bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> I done asked mama many times, what did y'all, what did y'all talk about? Oh, I don't know. Man. Then why the fuck you still going to this place, Look, man? Come on, Facts. Man. Go ahead, brother. It's, uh, it's a touch of the point you made. This Malachi 2. And I start at 7. It says, for the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Yep. And they should seek the law at his mouth. They take the law done away with it. They tell you you ain't get matter of fact, it's doing that it's Satanists in the Christian church, man. You must be one of them old testament brothers. They separate the book. Right, right. <laughs> the Lord coming to buy him with yeah. the book. He says, bring that home, man. Hey, the Lord the whole New Testament, what was they reading? Was they reading the New Testament at a time when y'all was walking? Was they reading the Old Testament? Come on, come on. They said in the book of Moses. They say the book of Isaiah. They say in the law. In the prophets. In the prophets. Yep. As it was written. As it was written. Uh-huh. What the fuck is these niggas talking about? Hey, that's what it is. Hey, it says a simple man will not be approved, but he found an excuse according to his will. <laughs> these niggas found every excuse to feel better, man. To, 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 hey, to uh, delight in wickedness, man. Mm -hmm. right. To have pleasure in unrighteousness. Yeah. Uh, I got some this. This uh, Matthew uh, 5 and... 18, man, because you niggas be going off with the churches and your pastors. Yes, read. You know what yeah, I'm it says, But verily I say unto you, till heaven. Start up, start up, start up, start up one. You want to start at one? No, 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 no or the prophet. Well, you know, you know that's why Jesus came, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when Jesus came, all that was. Oh, it was over with. You can do it now. You can do it. Oh, so you could? You, you, I could kill my brother? Of course. Yeah. Uh huh. Brother, that's big. Hey, the Lord. Lord out. The Lord said you can do what you will. What they you mean? looking for an I excuse to be wicked. Wicked. Yeah. Be un uh, unholy motherfucking people, man. And you try to use the Bible to be wicked. That's the worst thing of all. I uh, know. It is you're going to take the Lord's word and try to use it against the yeah. Lord and, yeah. and, the, and the prophets. Man, y'all tripping, man. That's why the Lord is going to off with your motherfucking head, man. A lot of you niggas about to get your head cut off. Verse 17 says, Think not that I have come to destroy the law or the prophets. I have not come to destroy, but to fulfill, man. The Lord comes to fulfill these things, man. He didn't come to condemn us. He came to finish to fulfill what was written of him. See? Verse 18. It says, For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no ways pass from the law till all things be fulfilled, man. And the earth abided forever. Dang. Ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Esau right. be talking about a big comet that's going to come out from the heavens and it's going to hit the earth and we're all going to die or a volcano is going to erupt and split the earth in half. He wants everything to happen but him going into captivity. Right, this is the Esau. Everybody's going to die. 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 Before I pay for my crimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you niggas going to pray for yours, niggas. But hey, ain't about to pay for mine. We had to pay for ours. Come on, man. But he get a pass. That's it. That's it, Jeremiah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was very, it was emphasized on there. It said not one jot or two. Hey, you going to that jot? It go to the smallest Hebrew word was the uh, the Yah. That's the smallest Hebrew letter. So it said not even the smallest letter is going to get changed. Man. Yep. And the Lord ain't coming to do none of that. You niggas coming there to mix it to fix it, it brother with take man. You niggas try to dip a job with all matters of wickedness, and then try to mix it in the truth, and then say you repent. No, you can't. This ain't the NBA. You can't have one foot in the paint and one foot out. <laughs> so you, what, nigga? What you mean? I want the five seconds. What exactly. you talking about? <laughs> I'm in and out. I'm in and out. Hey, Lord, say, hey, look, you have to be on one side or the other. You can't be hot or cold. Yeah, there's no middle. Ain't no middle ground, man. Hey, Esau told you, hey, look, we got three sections. You got right, wrong, and in the middle. Between. Yeah, hell no, ain't no in between. It's either right or wrong. Let me get this. Let me finish this. It's 19. It says, 
whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men, uh, teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. So and hey. teach men so, and you're teaching men least. that the yeah. laws are done away with. We no longer have to follow the rules of the heavenly father. We can just do whatever we want to do. So you're going to be considered the least in the kingdom of heaven, man. You have to walk around with your head down for a long time, right? Because the Lord is not going to give you a green, the Lord's not going to give you a pass. There's not going to be a, a mercy for you in the time of what? Visitation, the time of judgment, man. This is the time of, of mercy right here, man. The Lord giving us mercy right now to be able to come out and speak the word, maybe at, 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 at working up, waking up the elect and things like this is the time this of mercy. This is mercy. Us having this yes. word is mercy. This the is Lord mercy. said, I'm going to send you the comforter, man. That's right. These motherfuckers ain't got nothing comforting but but some drugs, some yep. alcohol, some 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 homosexual ass. Good, good. and they deserve yeah. it too. Look, it's a homosexual spirit out this motherfucker. Everywhere you turn, man. man. Like, oh my good. good. Oh, okay. God, no. <laughs> that's, that's this box we're... adventures right here, boy. Oh, yeah, this 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 bizarre man. Like, well, yeah. like, that's what Kyle like was talking about bizarre, earlier bizarre, on the video man. and shit when they, they was out there with the uh, brothers and shit. Kyle was talking about yeah, hey, a lot of you brothers, <laughs> man, got that homosexual spirit on you, man. Man, look, man, shake that homosexual spirit up off you, man. Be a man, wake up, man. Hey, 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 be a leader. You know what I'm saying? Stop following everything that you hear and see in the fucking world, man. Heard up. See, child, see but, child. but I just want to fit in, man. I just want to be cool, man. Yeah, I just want to be killed, man. Come on, yeah. man. You fitting in, just like the brother said, it's you wanting to be killed. Hey, fit in and fire both start with F. God knows. God knows. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be cool as hell in that fire. Bro, why are you so hurt? That's right. Why are you speaking that tone, bro? Bro? This nigga soft as hell, man. You speak up, these niggas crying. Like women. Exactly. It says, but whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Yes, you got to do the word, word. You got to do the word, work, and push the word, man. That's what it's all about, man. Because um, there's a reward, there's a reward, right? There's a reward when you're with the heavenly father. There's no reward with Satan, right? Look at all these celebrities. These dudes are old and de depressed, but they got all the money in the world. Old oh, depressed. They got they all the money in the world. They can't spend it. They can't, can't do shit. Hey, look. They can't, can't do, do that. Hey, look. You got all the money in the world. Hey, being a millionaire, a billionaire, you can't even save your own life with that fucking money. Nope. Look at look at these celebrities that got all this goddamn money and dying Holy and can't even save their fucking life. You can't you can't get a doctor to help you save your fucking life with the disease you got with all this money. Come on, man. That yeah. shit is in vain. So. That money, that money is not the cure. The money is not the answer either. No. Right? They, 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 they thought money was the answer. They thought all um, these, these false religions was the answer. But you waking up to reality, man. Oh yeah. Look what you got, brother. This is the book of Romans chapter ten. And allow me to start. Yeah, let me go to straight to the point. For they being right, for they being ignorant of the house righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness. Hold back, hold back. Okay, okay. This is the book of Romans chapter 10, verse 34. They being ignorant of the most highest righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness. Yeah, how are you ignorant of the Lord's righteousness? Because you're not studying. You're not studying. And you're not seeking, right? No. It said, seek ye out the book of the Lord and read, right? It says, blessed is them that readeth and them that hear the words of this prophecy. So you're not reading. You're not, you're not hearing, you're not t paying attention. What are you doing? Motion them. Yeah, you're, you're stuck in this society. Like we said, you're in this world, you're too far gone in this world, man. You're too far gone in your life. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord is calling, bro. Keep reading. <laughs> Lord calling. They have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the Most High. They have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the Most High. So they went about to, go ahead. Verse 4, for Hamashiach is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. Yeah, the Lord died for our sins, man. So guess what? His blood covered the, what? all Israel, <laughs> starting with the elect. The Bible tells you all Israel shall be saved with everlasting salvation. Let me get Isaiah 45. Like the scripture tells you in the book, in the book. Of John chapter 17, verse 9. I pray for them. I pray, I pray not, not for, for the world. world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. It goes to your house shot, going down for all Israel, starting with the elect, man. Yeah. Like the brother the same. Yeah, the Lord did not, the Lord ain't dealing with everybody. 
He died for all Israel, but he, he did not die for everybody on earth. Go ahead, brother. It's Isaiah. Uh, do something, do something. Do something. Come on, do something. Then go to fucking no, 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 here, here. Here, here, do something. Go to Please. Somalia Please. so I can. can. I'm sorry. Do I don't something. feel like going to If you're so upset about go it, go to your countries. No, I'm not upset. I'm just saying, you're not, you're a hypocrite. What did I say wrong? You, you you live in a democratic country. You want to go live in the fatherland of jihad? What, what, what go country? there and get the fuck out of my country. Why don't you make me Because my troops hey, aren't going to defend your ass. You need to back up. Yeah. Ba bitch you need ass. Back up. Yeah. Get out of my country. All right, get the fuck out of my country. No, 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 no. Get the fuck out of my Why country. Why don't you make us? Because my troops. Make us. Hey, we you will. In this country. Make us. Well, that. you know what? I can't because. Oh! We know you can't. You can't. Oh! You're drooling at the mouth. You're spitting on yourself. You're looking ignorant, my man. Just go on about your business. Okay. Please. Go about Please. your business. conversation. Go so on. So, what do you want? Jihad to rule the world? No, I want jihad. you white people to keep on moving about your business. Please go on, sir. You have a problem with white people? No, I got a problem with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Keep reading. It, it ain't just white people. Hey, the man made a fool of himself. Yeah. We can't. It says on, you can't argue with no fool. Let's get back to business. Go ahead, read what you got. Isaiah forty-five and seventeen. Hey, you know what it is, man. The thing is, we don't gotta argue right, with nobody. We Speak are we are spiritual men. Have. Read what you got. This is Isaiah forty-five and seventeen. But Israel shall be saved. But what? But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. That's all we're waiting. We're waiting for the Lord to I'm save us. Listening. We're just waiting for the Lord to save us from our enemies, That's right? It. And who's our number one enemy? The so-called so white man. Jesus. The so-called white man. The man that you white see man? right now that's, that's, that's being what, religious. What did I do to you? What did you do to us? What, what did, did you do to us? <laughs> I don't know. I'm an Irish. Because you see, you look like you've been educated, right? Are you educated? I was once. Okay. What has history said about you and your people? According to Irish people, not much. Okay, how did you guys get to America? <laughs> the so called fucking boats. Hey, man, this might be a bugged out <laughs> shit. <laughs> he is a nigga, man. He is a nigga, bro. This might that, be bro. one of our brothers just bug the fuck out. Because he got a little ball going. And hey, look at him. He's smiling. He know he's tripping, man. Yeah, he know he's tripping. You like Irish or dad Irish? I didn't. Yeah, I'm not Your dad oh, Irish, shit. man? Hey, I didn't know you guys. I thought you guys were. Hey, Jihad. You guys are cool. That's a nigga, bro. That's a nigga, bro. That's a nigga. 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 That's a holy stage, man. That's a bro. Hey, you gave them nothing. You guys are cool, nigga. I thought you guys were cool. Hey, this is the man. Hey, man, hey, 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 Matter of fact, hey, read that again. Israel shall be saved, world without end. Read that. So, uh, 45, this is Isaiah 45 and 17 says, But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with the everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. Yeah. And that's all we're waiting for, man. That's right. Because this world, this society, this present, Filthiness will end very soon, man. That's right. And with that, we're going to give all honor and praises to Yahweh, Basha, Yahusha, Basha, Bukhah, Kudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations unto the elect men, feed the sheep of Yahweh, Basha, Yahusha, to tell you the truth. We say what? Above the ball! Above the ball!